<laughs> thank you. You can stay here too. Um, but thank you so much for being on my show tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And um, they're going to conclude on the 11th. And next Thursday on the 11th, we've got Malden's Eric Casacchio coming in from L.A. because he's a film director. And he's going to talk about being at all these film festivals with his movie, Freak, that we, of course, talk to the star of. Frank Delastrino is here to talk about movies. What's up, Joe? Hey, did you know about Impact? Well, I, it's, uh, it, it continues your streak of film noir. So... Um... And I'm learning from it, just just working with you how many film noirs there were. I, I didn't realize it was it was such a prevalent genre. I thought it was like a handful of films that came, made a splash, and went. But they're they're all over the place. And when uh, you told me about Impact, I looked it up in uh, 1949, and there I clicked on a little link that said 30 films from 1949 not to miss, and 10 of them are film noirs. Wow. So you yeah, can thank Anthony. He's right here. Well, who's that? Anthony, who got the film. You can thank him. Anthony, thank you very much. You're doing a great job picking out movies. Uh, let's see, how much time do we have, Joe? We have uh, six minutes. And I have five young ladies here that um, are biking for climate change. How's that, Frank? Okay, well, uh, they, they believe in it or they don't believe in it. Or they're promoting it or they're trying to... <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to make people aware of climate change. So they're biking on behalf of that. Climate summer. Okay. Well, I live in Houston, and um, I, I guess the summer here has been, well, you got to understand, I, I've lost 60 pounds in the last year, so everything seems kind of on the cool side of me, because I was always so warm before. So I don't know if the young ladies will su succeed or not, but if they don't, I would say go on a diet, and, and maybe you can take a little more of the climate warming. But I think that's a noble thing to do. Um, I, uh, I, I'm surprised at all the resistance to cl the climate warming. I can see the debates on what might be causing it. Is it man-made, which I think is getting almost undeniable, but is it, is it a natural swing in nature? And I, 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 I pay a lot of attention to those debates, but it seems to me the world is, at least the world I live in, is getting warmer than it used to be, until, at least until I lost my 60 pounds. Actually, we're not talking about climate change at all, really. Our message is to move away from fossil fuels, because fossil fuels, the way they're mined, the way they're produced, kill people. So we don't even want to talk about climate change, because we know it's such a debatable, not a debatable, um, it becomes a debate very easily. And we'd rather facilitate conversations about what's happening with our fuel usage in our country, and the way we transport ourselves and um, fuel our homes, and how, as we do that, simultaneously people are dying because of it. Uh, as earlier, we said that 24,000 Americans die every year breathing in the particulates of fossil fuels. And uh, that's something we'd like to change. And you're, it's an admirable thing. And we've got four minutes to talk about impact now, Frank. Good. And I must refuse myself because I do work for an oil company, so I can't get into that on the air. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> 1949. Uh, let's see. The star is Brian Dunleavy, and he was a good, solid actor. When he's at his best, and he has some really good scenes in this, the, the plot is a bit complicated, a bit convoluted, and maybe should have been trimmed down a bit. But he, uh, he could fill up a screen. He was a good scene stealer and a good, solid actor. Uh, what occurred to me when I was trying to think about something unique to say about this movie is a lot of the people that made movies like this, uh, the film noir, which is kind of a dark look at the world, the world can turn on you, things you thought you took for granted uh, just aren't there one day. That applies pretty much to a lot of the people that were making these films because uh, post-war, uh, World War II ended 1945, the movie business went into eclipse. Business became terrible. And around 1949, it was still terrible, and there was something else just coming into the, in, on the horizon. That was television, which was going to make it even worse for them. And a lot of people, have the, like this, the leading actress in this, this uh, movie, Ella, Ella Raines, a few years before, she could look forward to a studio contract, and you know maybe she'd find star that maybe she wouldn't, but a good, long, steady career in the movies. And she would have a rough, the 1950s would be very rough for her as they were for a, a lot of actresses, a lot of actors, because the movie. Wow. We've been censored. Some, the, uh... <laughs> wow. wow, it must have been the, uh, the oil thing. <laughs> He's in Texas, ladies.
show. I, I was so eloquent. Then I realized the line was dead. <laughs> I don't know if it was Yarend or ours, or if that was be, that, because you mentioned you were for an oil company. Maybe I, I, I got a you know down in down in Texas that that doesn't that doesn't put you on any any want, wanted list. But I, I you know I, I'm from the Northeast, obviously, so I got to watch what I say. I'm sorry about that, Joe, but that's who pays my salary. No, no, I'm cool. We're cool. Um, they're climate summer, and we're talking about impact. Yeah, impact. Uh, see, where did I die off? I, I was 1950s. These actors and actresses were losing their uh, living. Their yeah. way to earn a living. Yeah. So that kind of ties into the theme here. These, you know, this uh, this industrialist finds himself suddenly without anything. His wife is trying to kill him. You'll find that out early in the movie, so I'm not spoiling anything. And the basically close to having amnesia, but it comes back to him. And he, you know, he begins to realize he's lost everything, and he he goes about getting it back, which is not a good summary of what the movie's about, but, but that's close enough. Interesting. I know we only have a minute left or so, so the, the bad woman in this movie, Helen, Helen Walker, uh, was in a... Her, her career was basically ruined by a terrible car crash that she probably caused, but not, and somebody died in it. And in this movie... In the in the early scenes, so I'm not spoiling anything. Uh, she causes a car crash that kills her. Her Her character does. So I, I imagine that went through her mind when she was uh, when she was making the movie, and she uh, she had a had a handful of good performances and had every right to look for more. But after the car accident, it things didn't take off. There was a lot of bad publicity because uh, an apparently innocent person had gotten killed. These, uh, the other parties accused her of being drunk or something like that, and I, I, I don't know the truth, so I'm not judging anybody, but it, no doubt it put her career in a shadow that she never got out of, and within 10 years after this movie was made, she was out of the business.